Well, here we are again, just me and you. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Kraft, and on this episode of True Abutments Interview, we come to you from Bellevue, Washington. I'm gonna introduce you to the owner of Chanelli Dental Lab. Now, the owner relocated his entire family, plus two staff from Los Angeles to this beautiful city. We're gonna see how it's been going. You ready? Let's go meet him. office. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm Jeff. I'm Cindy. Nice to meet you, nice Cindy. So what do you do here? I'm actually Shin's younger sister. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. So you're the one that runs everything? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> Let me show you our office. Okay, and great. Introduced to Shin. He's actually in the back working. Oh, what a view of Seattle right here yes. with these big trees. Yes. There's Shin. Shin, how are you? Good. I'm Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Well, I met your younger sister who yes. she told me she runs everything here in the office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> She's the boss. <laughs> she, I can tell. I want to find out more about your relocation with your family, your okay. staff up here to the Northwest. Okay. Let's do it in the lobby. Let's yeah, chat. Sounds good. I got a lot to tell you. Perfect. Let's Can't go. wait. So I want to talk, uh, Shen, about the travel, the relocation from Los Angeles mm -hmm. to Seattle. Uh, first, let's go back. How did you get involved? Because you didn't, you didn't grow up in Los Angeles. There's been a little bit of travel. Actually, my family was here. I mean, in uh, they were in Los Angeles. Okay. And I went to high school, boarding school in Oklahoma, and I went to college there. My first job was then lab as a not technician but train, whatever trainer. Okay. Um, and. At the time, I had a goal that I want to go to dental school, so I start at the uh, dental lab. Okay, but uh, that wasn't originally what you went to school for, right? What did you actually go to school for? No, uh, chemistry actually. Chemistry? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I finished, I didn't finish the school. Okay. And then I moved back to California. At the time, I couldn't be able to uh, go to school. Uh, so I found a job, which is Dr. Bruce Crispin, um, and I worked there for quite a few years, uh -huh. and I became a technician there. And that's where you that. knew the lab is where you wanted to be? Yes. What was it about the lab? Um, it's, it is so much fun with making something uh -huh. that uh, with my hands that uh, someone's going to be in their mouths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was interesting. And, and also, um, my teeth are in bad shape. <laughs> so I had to go to dentist, uh, dentist so many times. So I know um, if I make good crown, then, you know, it would be better for the patient. That's interesting. Yeah. So you, you grew up with, with uh, not the best teeth. That was challenging for you. Mm -hmm. So you really are in, you know, you were a patient for a long time before, you know, becoming, uh, you know, a, a dental technician. Yes. So you know what they feel like. You know what they're going through yeah. from first-hand experience. <laughs> yes. When you open up your, uh, your lab in Los Angeles, you were successful out there. What was the reason you came to Seattle? Um, long story make it short, um, I was going to have a, a, a satellite office here in Seattle and Kobe, you know, that hit. And then um, my kids, uh, the little, little wow. ones, you know, I decided to um, come to Seattle because I want to raise them in a better place, uh, not crowded, mm -hmm. you know, and good weather. <laughs> So I, that's why I moved from California to Seattle. Now, you didn't just move yourself, your sister uh, moved here as well, yeah. but your entire family moved here. And then also two staff moved up here from Los Angeles. Yes, actually I want them uh, from, from LA. I had a four steps. Uh, I want them to move uh, here with me 
but they wanted to, but you know, their situation, they couldn't come. Mm -hmm. So two people came. Well, that's great. I mean, that, it's being able to continue that synergy that you had in Los Angeles coming up here to Seattle. What's it been like since you've been in Seattle? Mm -hmm. uh, how's business been? Uh, is the success still continuing? Um, it's growing very slowly and we're trying to settle here. You know, I don't, I don't know any, any people around here. Uh -huh. So more like, you know, family. I mean, I, I spend more time with family and uh, I haven't been out there for uh, sales or anything like that. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> but I'm trying to get ready, ready for the, uh, you know, moment to go out. And, but for, for me, doctor introduced me to another doctor. Um, that's good benefit for me as well. And yeah. And the relationship you have with this, uh, this dental office, basically, it's a dental park. Mm -hmm. A lot of different dentists that work in here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a different uh, relationship that you have. Your lab is within a dental office. Um, yes and no. Uh, because um, they don't bother me, okay. <laughs> first of all. <laughs> and also, um, they treat, treat me as a, um, a sincere master technician. It, it has been really grateful uh, to be side of you know, the office. Mm -hmm. here. Investing in your partners, investing in the relationships with your time uh, with dentists out there, that's obviously important, but also the partners that you bring in like True Abutment. How did that relationship come together? True Abutment, uh, it is so easy for me to use uh, in making uh, implant crowns. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, um, other company out there, but True Abutment is just it's just a simple word, made my life easier. So I want to talk about the quality of craftsmanship because okay. truly it is a craft. How do you ensure the quality that you put into the work? Uh, well, um, uh, first of all, um, you get what you pay for. You know, when you buy some stuff, if you pay more and then you get better quality. Um, so what I'm looking for is just looking for the best material for anything uh, for, for relate to my work. Mm. So even porcelain or uh, zirconia block and anything, I test all those stuff before I, before I try. Um, and then if I like those, then, you know, a little expensive is okay. You know, I'll pay more and I get better visual mm -hmm. that I want it. So that's the first thing I'm trying to get best material. If, if I think that, you know, I can be able to put it in my mouth, then it can go out. Yeah, so I mean, I mean ensuring quality, again, it is. It's, it's super important. So you get what you pay for. And I absolutely respect that. Uh, where are the offices now? What type of growth are you expecting? What are you hoping for in the next, let's just say a two-year plan? Two-year plan. Um, my goal is just reaching out those doctors that are having a problem with uh, laboratory that you know they can handle. Um, because I've been you know top by uh, top dentist in the world. Um, you know I know I have I have good knowledge uh, to to make implant crowns and you know uh, oral four cases. Mm -hmm. There are so popular uh, these days and there's so many different kinds of autumn four cases as well i'm trying to focus on those big cases um, and uh, from now to two years probably you know i'll be getting a lot of cases uh, all over the uh, nation uh, and uh, we are going to be a little bigger yeah now. yeah got it <laughs> Open it.
Shin, thanks so much for sharing your story and uh, good luck on your business up here in Seattle. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Jeff. Of course. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Great guy. Great family. Great business. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Another episode of Intrue View. Where are we going next? Who knows? See you then. To see you, Jeff. This is Dr. Tigran. Dr. Hi, Tigran, great to meet you. Great, great to, to meet, meet you. you so glad to have you guys under the same roof in the same office right now. Uh, Dr. Tigran, I want to find out the relationship between you and Shen. It's been pretty incredible to have you guys working together so closely. It has been a big blessing to have him uh, in the building. Uh, we actually invited him after finding out uh, of his quality. Uh, it's been amazing. Now, he moved to Seattle partly because of you. How did that all work? I met him at the implant training course. Uh, he was doing all on four different uh, treatments for our patients. And so I found out how quality work he does and I was I fell in love with his lab and his team. So we uh, invited them to come over to Seattle and yeah. we're very happy they agreed. Now you guys are both passionate about education. Do you guys help each other out, support each other and make each other? It's sound like a, a really great team. I asked him for any clinical part mm -hmm. if I have any question and uh, he always give me advice. Now working together, is, it, it makes us grow together. So yes, uh, I share my insight from clinical view. He shares his insight from the uh, lab view. So it, it is been a great uh, relationship and growth together. I'm sure there's so many dentists and lab owners that are watching right now that are so <laughs> envious of this relationship. <laughs> this is great. Hey, great meeting you. Great to meet you.